sort of having this starter team, make it a beast team. We'd obviously get yourself on the description below, get yourself to use 7 buy, get yourself some cheap, reliable coins, and don't forget to use King with a cheeky 5% off. Right, let's get into the video. Yo guys, what's going on? King Flipper here and welcome to another Hero SBC video. Today we have Fernando Morientes' World Cup SBC. Uh, I didn't even know he wasn't on the market. I didn't even realise. So yeah, um, I thought he would be on the market as well as an SBC because I think Keen is. So yeah, we got a 90 rated striker with 86 pace, 92 shot, 78 passing, 84 dribbling, 46 defence and 87 physicality. 6 foot 1, high medium work rates, right footed, 4 star, 4 star. Can play. Cam, centre forward and right winger. So a lot of positions, which is good to see. In-game stats, very good in-game stats for certain things. So we got 84 acceleration with 87 sprint speed. 94 attack positioning and finishing. 93 shot power. 88 long shots. 90 follies and pens. Uh, 84 vision. 73 crossing. 77 free kick accuracy. 82 short passing. 70 long passing is a bit nap. And 70 curve is not the greatest. 78 agility and 75 balance. Obviously, Marientes has never been a very agile player. Uh, 88 reactions. 85 ball control and dribbling. And 88 composure. Does have 98 head and accuracy with 93 jumping. 86 stam. 91 strength and 75 aggression. Uh, does have the finesse shot trait. The power header trait. The outside foot shot trait. And obviously, chip shot, which is an AI. But... Three good traits as well. So overall, good looking card. It's not massively expensive. Uh, this SBC is also out for two weeks. Right. You need to keep and remember something. Um, this SBC is more expensive because of... What is that? Uh, it's more expensive because of one certain SBC. Uh, that. So he... The hero is out for two more days, which is good. So this SBC will be cheap out once that card, once that SBC disappears for the Liga one. But the other two doesn't make much difference. So yeah, three SBCs. Before we get into just letting you know, these are for being buying now price of time doing this SBC, which has been out for an hour and a half. Business stops will of course be cheap, and don't forget prices do fluctuate. So requirements for the top form SBC, you do need one team of the week card uh, at the moment. Zanging Feng is the best one to go for for a bronze team of the week. He is literally less than two and a half k, which is great. Team of the three we are. Map on 83 can't lower anyone else and 11 players in squad. So if you're going for Zhang Yin Feng, you need two 84s. If you're going for a, a silver team of the week card, you can get away with another uh, 83 instead of two 84s. So yeah, uh, but this is the cheapest way to do this at the moment. So yeah, uh, Yin Feng, bronze team of the week card is 2.5k at the mo. Uh, Nasha and Tillman, two of the cheapest 84s, they're 2.9k each. And then the prices are fluctuating around for 83s. But we've got Kabul, Neves, Schmeichel, Pereira, Fernando, Silva, Arujo, and Oshiman. Uh, they are coming up at 950 coins when they're on this, but they have come down a little bit, so just be careful. They are fluctuating around, not by much, but like 50 coins difference. So this is less than 16k to do, 15.9k by it now. You do get a premium gold pack, which is a 7.5k pack, so, you know, not too bad. Next, we get into the Spain SBC requirements. This one is very easy. One Spanish player, as you can see, I have used Azrable. He's the cheapest 84 rated card. He's a little bit more expensive than everyone else. Team of 84 with Smack 84 can't lower anyone else. 11 players in the squad. Uh, it's not 984 to 283 is the cheapest way for an 84 rated squad all day long. Osborne, as I said, a little bit more expensive than normal SBC uh, 84. So he's 3k, 100k, 100 coins more. So that's not too bad. And then obviously the rest of the 84s are 2.9k. So we've got Nasha, Tillman, Savage, Diaz, Leal, Hazard, Di Maria, and look at Mama Tip. Beautiful. And then Kabul and Fernando, they've dropped to 50 coins. So now they're 900 coins each. Uh, while I was doing this SBC, they were changing. So 28k to do by now. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. No, you can't complain about that one. Especially reward. Small prong gold players pack. So it's nearly the same price as the SBC. 22.5k pack for a reward. And then we get to the La Liga one. So this is the one that will be cheaper once um, the hero upgrade disappears. Because... This is an 86 rated squad. Normally it would be, if I remember right, it's 288s. It's two or three 88s and then two 87s. I've had to put, yeah, it's going to be two 88s and two 87s if I remember right. I've had to put five 87s in at the moment because of the 88s being nearly extinct. So, yeah, just bear that in mind. Uh, you do need one illegal player. As you can see, I've actually got two. I've got Savage and Hazard, which is about right. Team of 86, we're smack bang 86. As I said, you can't lower anyone else at the moment. 11 players in squad. So, this SPC is to do, this is the cheapest to do at the moment before. The hero SBC disappears once 88s finally do come back down, which will still be a few more days yet. Um, that's when it'll be cheaper, but yeah, 87s are the way to go at the moment. So we've got Trent, uh, it's 15k, Verratti's 15k, Robertson's 15.25, Rodri's 15.5, and Goretzka is 15.75. 
So there's a K difference between all of these 87s, so it's not too bad. Uh, we got Nasha, Savage, and Hazard. They're all 2.9K each. And then Cobble, Stones, and Pereira, and 900 coins each. So um, it's less than 90K still to do, but again, this is normally not that price for an 86 rated card if, uh, team, if I remember right. But yeah, 87.9K by now. Um, you get done for less than that. 85k bids and snobs in my opinion. Uh, the reward is a 15k pack. I still don't understand how EA figure out these rewards on the, the SBCs. You always get a crapper reward for that. But at the moment, Morientes is coming up for 131.8k, which I don't think is too bad for this type of card. You've got to look at Papin. Papin's around 95, if I remember right. Um, and obviously, that's a tradable card. Yeah, I get the point. But it's not far off, really. And I... <sighs> Is he going to be good? I don't know. You get 45k's worth of packs. It's one of them. If you have done it, let other people know if he's actually worth doing. But for 130k, I didn't... It's not a bad looking card, especially finishing wise. He does have some good stats, but yeah. Hopefully it is saving some time some money. Of course, feel free to drop a thumbs up. It does help the channel and the video. Obviously, if you want to see more SBC methods like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you got that notification bell on so you can keep up to date as soon as I upload these. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video stream. Take it easy, obviously. Peace. Yeah.